Ian Miles Chong. And before I let you weigh in on that, uh... I don't have a bucket to vomit into, so you're gonna we're gonna have to deal with this quickly. Yeah, quickly. Ian Miles Chong um, came to the attention of the world because I started mocking him for uh, old tweets and posts in which he uh, loudly and vociferously, enthusiastically praised Adolf Hitler. Uh, so I did a... Little vast... Hitler is what we dubbed Ian Miles Chong, if I recall correctly. Right. Indeed. So I did a vast tweet storm, some of which Twitter made me take down, because of course they did, because I was going after, at the time, a lefty, uh, because he was on the other side of the equation uh, at that time, uh, for being a Hitler sympathizer. So naturally, Twitter made me take down half these tweets, but they still exist in screenshots buried deep in the bowels of the internet. Uh, he then did an about face and became not only a Milo mega fan, but also an employee of mine. Um, there is a there is an allegation, I think, that we ended up owing him about $200 or something after paying him many thousands for a very terrible ask. You overpaid, by the way, but I'll leave that there. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Any amount of money is overpaying. Um, <laughs> and so uh, I, th- I think he was owed about 200 bucks. And every, every time he tells this story, he adds a zero to how much I allegedly owe him. Uh, it's complete bollocks. And after he lied the third time, I said, you know what? Sue me. Go fuck yourself. Um, I, I, you know where I am? If you think I owe you $3,000, file a fucking lawsuit. And he never did because I don't. Um, anyway, the point being that um, he then accepted money from Will Chamberlain, who is, you know, in the Bill Crystal establishment Republican vein of things. Ian Armstrong is... is well, Will one, Chamberlain's a scumbag. I mean, one of the, yeah. Ian Armstrong is one of the most intellectually um, weak insincere and un- and ideologically unreliable people that i've ever encountered he's the kind of person who he's basically he's got that thing that women have sometimes where they'll just completely adopt the um political outlook of their husbands you know like the jihadi brides <laughs> fairly normal people but he is like that isn't he all of a sudden he's like he's like a zealot you know what i mean an early convert you know? he's got the fervor of the convert for each yes. new thing that he adopts but he adopts a new thing every 18 months yeah, that's the thing bro. so in, in the time that i have been aware of his existence Distance, which is only like four years maybe he's adopted three completely different personas he was oh. a fascist last year anyway so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, i mean he was really? on all these streams anyway really? i kind of tuned out because i was sort of retired in 2018 you know i thought yeah, you know, I feel, yeah, I mean, you know, fuck you guys i've got you know I'm, I'm stable i'm happy i'm comfortable i have a family i have love in my life i'm, I'm good i'm gonna retire right i'm gonna retire in about 10 minutes in about 10 years maybe i'll need a job again yeah.